We're just off from our cornfield, one of our cornfield sites, and there used to be a house right here somewhere. And uh, I got the AT Pro with a little sharp coil by now, it's a little five inch chubby. And our first find would be a mystery item. Well, not really a mystery item, I think it's a clasp for something. I think that's exactly what that is. And I don't know if it's too old, but everything in here should be at least 100 plus years old. All right, we've changed gears big time. We got the Xterra 705 with a big orange crop circle coil on it. Big 15 inch jobby. I was over in the woods right over there a few minutes ago. And we got, it really didn't ring a high tone, but it looks like maybe a coin. There's something in there in my plug. See it? What is that gonna be? I bet it's a big dandy button. That's exactly what that is, I think. Oh yeah, what's it got for shankage? It's got a full shankage, all right. Awesome, colonial period, button. No matter where you go, you can always find a spool bowl, even way out here, and quite a ways from where the house used to set. That didn't stop us from finding a spoon bowl. Early darkness, probably almost uh, close to four o'clock. I gotta love it. Winter's coming. Get another button. Full shankage again. All right. How awesome is that? Looks like some type of tomback, maybe. Even though it's corroded, most of most tombacks don't come out corroded. Well, maybe not. Maybe that's not a tomback. Okay, on to the next. some high numbers but it doesn't sound all that great we'll give that a dig all right i don't know quite what to make of it it's a piece of brass with a piece of iron in the middle of it okay we'll see you at the next one all right i was gonna bang in 44 46 on the xterra and i was hoping for that u.s ammo bag civil war u.s buckle but that's not it that is out here in this field somewhere I'll take this nice wide brass buckle. That's awesome. Headed back towards the truck too. I'm almost done. All right, we're back for day two. Uh, the ground is starting to freeze a little bit. And if you're somewhere where the ground isn't froze, finish watching this video, press like, leave a comment, get your gear and go out metal detecting. As uh, it's gonna be winter soon here and I won't be able to do this too much longer. Well, anyway. Today we hope to find uh, something a little better than yesterday. So, you know, the buttons and stuff weren't too bad and the nice buckle. And we're still rocking the Xterra 705 with the big orange crop circle. We're going to continue on right where we left off. I think I got it marked pretty good. I think it's right over there actually. Okay, we'll see at the first find. Alright, here we are, the first find. And we were down there, we were down there good. 9, 10 inches. The Xterra picking up a high tone. And it's I don't believe it's a CCR, but uh, but it seems to be thinner right on that side right there. That's some type of buckle, I'm pretty sure. That's awesome. I, I don't have anything like that in my collection. I do now. All right, we'll see you at the next. Hopefully more of that kind of stuff. Well, so far, the finds haven't been too far to you between. Out here, and this I got, a, got me excited for a minute. I thought I had a cut copper, but it's pretty thick. Looks like it had a rim. I, rim of a, maybe a bell or something pretty heavy I think it's brass pretty sure it's brass although it could be silver I need to look at it closer at home but
I'd say I do them pretty well for old finds. We got an old coat flat button, not quite big enough to be a dandy. I can't tell if the shank is on there. Looks like it might be. All right, a little bit of gold gilt left on the top. Try to preserve that if we can. See if there's a design on it later. Okay, we'll continue on. All right, you know what today is? Today is a two copper day, baby. Anytime you get two coppers in the same day, it's awesome. This one very well might be a slick rig. It's a whole lot on it, but maybe we'll get some. Awesome, two coppers. Well, that's going to do it for me today. It does get cold after a while out there the, with the wind blowing. It is December, by the way. I don't know when you're going to watch this. This may be in the middle of winter. I might be sitting next to a fire with a drink when I intro this. Well, anyway, it was a good productive two days. Good luck and happy hunting to all of my friends on YouTube. All right, what a difference a weekend makes. Last weekend, we were out metal detected in the cornfield. This weekend, that cornfield probably froze solid. A little bit of snow on the ground. Well, anyhow, great weekend we had. Had a big piece of iron, a little mystery item, rivet, this little clasp of some sort, another little mystery item. Looks like a wheel. It must be a wheel of some sort, like a caster. That's what that is. Spoon bowl. Piece of brass. Not quite sure what to make of that. Probably the back of a rosette or something. Does that affect the nail? And the rivet. Nice brass buckle. We got uh, this piece here. Somebody on the main detected main forum says it very well could be the uh, the strap for a barrel of a musket. That's what that might be because of its shape. And that's a shotgun brass musket ball. Woohoo! Chunk of lead. This is a mystery item here. Still don't know quite what it is. It's made to be rounded on the edge there. There's no, uh, it's too thick to be a coin, I believe. Anyway, we got a little bit of gold gilt on the on the bent button. We we'll get a button, nothing on the front, but a little bit of pity and a big dandy, and that has no design that I could see on it. Well, maybe it did it one time. It's hard to tell. Those are hard to clean up. We got two coppers. Woohoo! We love the coppers. And on the right, we got the uh, coronet variety. I'm not sure about the date. Somebody took a square nail and punched a hole in it. See how it's bigger on that side, small on that side. A couple of uh, theories on that, I've been told. One, they used to uh, put them on the mast of a ship, they used to nail them. Another one, they used to nail them up over the door of their homestead for good luck. And another theory is they used to hammer them to a barrel uh, to show the taxes were paid. And our second copper, can you see the outline? It's a Drake bust. It's, I mean, it's toasty, but you could see the head facing right and you could see the uh, ribbon of her hair on the back there. Well, anyway, two coppers make for a great day. What a time. I'm probably going to go detected. Why not? All right, we'll see you next time. Good luck and happy hunting.